Hello everyone. Welcome to new series of weekly index review and in this series we are going to review the some major indices like Nifty Bank Nifty, Midcap 100 and Small Cap 100 and see what's in store for next week. So before that I'm not a safe registered analyst and any stock discussed here is not a buy or sell recommendation in any way. And please consult your financial advisor before taking any trade. So, so many people are worrying about a market crash and all they're thinking the market is gonna crash 20, 30, 40 percent. But let's take a look at the indices and see if any of that is going to happen or not. So, what's uh, the so first we're gonna take a broader look at Nifty 50 index, a major index of india so first as you can see it has risen from 7500 to almost 17585 from march lows to now almost 10000 point and that too in almost straight line just it went in consolidation just uh, from fab to may it went in consolidation from fab to may and a small con consolidation up to that also from may to july and and after that it has risen almost after this consolidation it has risen almost 10 20 percent so uh, let's see let's see on the real chart so these these levels that i've marked around this level of 17254 16700 and 15900 these are pivot levels pivot levels are basically uh, important support or resistance levels uh, so when uh, before trading you can mark these levels on your chart and uh, it will help you so uh, just like this level if you want to know the short term trend as long as it is above 7200 17254 uh, everything is okay it can easily head higher to 18,000 or something like that if it breaks this level our next area of support would be 16,700 rupees that's our next minor pivot level and this 15,900 and 15,435 is a major pivot level uh, if the market corrects as everyone is talking about if market corrects and yes market correction is also important like it has risen so much from the March lows and it hasn't even corrected 10% yet uh, yes it went into consolidation only nifty went into consolidation for like five six months but after that also it has almost risen 10% uh, straight last week also let's look at the last week last week also most of the time it went it went from 17,300 to almost 17,600 but on friday on friday it made a big red candle and closed uh, near the day's low although nothing to worry about it can easily fall down to something like 17,254 can do something like this it can go down like this and again like this or if it breaks this level it can easily reach this level and some more consolidation after that it can eventually break out so uh, our job is not to guess when it will fall our job is to do what uh, our job is basically to save ourselves when market eventually will fall so 10 20 uh, 10 15 percent correction is normal but as of now it it's easily trading above all the key moving averages this is the blue line is 21 moving average and the red line is 50 moving average and if even if it falls down this pivot level of 17,250 and 21 moving average is there to give it its support and if it goes down from that level then your next level is 16,700 so write down these levels or mark these levels in your chart it will help you in your tra trading plan now let's take a look at other indices uh, we're gonna take a look at bank nifty bank nifty basically bank nifty hasn't performed that well as compared to nifty 
like it went up from its previous high it went up from 32,000 to 37,800 and after that it immediately went down and retested that level around this uh, April March 2021 and after that it is taking its sweet time to crawl uh, it's taking its sweet time to cross uh, to reach all time high level as you can see it broke out of this level last week only like uh, this is the weekly chart of bank nifty and it broke last week with uh, that it was a good candle close near days high and um, friday also it went down it went down below the breakout level but again closed above the level and so this shows the strength uh, bank nifty hasn't really performed in the rally so now it's time for it to perform so our major pivot points uh, these are a major pivot point from 13 32600 to 31794 uh, this is our major pivot points uh, these are our major pivot points and uh, <coughs> this level of 35842 this is our minor pivot point if it falls down it can uh, it can do something like this it can fall down and again consolidate a bit and it can eventually move up so this is not really anything to worry about in and bank nifty as of now bank nifty looks strong it's strongest sector and has the most favorable risk reward ratio right now because it has crossed its all-time high level and it can easily reach 40, uh, reach 40 to 40 thousand uh, how i reached uh, to that level is just using the fibonacci retracement tool i applied from the top of january to the law of march and here is a next uh, resistance level of 1.618 that is around 40 to 43000 so bank nifty as of now the best risk reward ratio is in bank nifty uh, and it's in a strong uptrend as you can see it is moving above all the major uh, moving averages as you can see 21 moving average and 50 moving and both of them are acting as a good support for it and it hasn't even run up much like nifty it has only risen about almost 14 15 percent from its high of uh, january so the next index we're gonna take a look at is mid cap 100 one thing about mid cap and the nifty the difference between them is nifty has almost consolidated for almost two months and look at the mid cap ends. it has risen almost vertically uh, if we can draw a trend line if we draw a trend line from the march lows as you can see it has almost risen vertically without any meaningful correction or consolidation it corrected little bit few weeks back like two three weeks back it corrected a bit that was also very small correction as you can see from this point to this point like it was just five minutes five six percent correction very small one so it formed another pivot point there and then it eventually moved up and crossed uh, and made a new high but on friday look at the candle of the friday a big wide range candle closing near the day's low so what does this signify it means that stock can do something like this and our first support level is 28,422 and it can consolidate and move back or it can do it can just keep moving down from this level and our next support level is 26,683 so as long as it's above this level of 28,400 that is also uh, our minor pivot level as long as it's above these levels of 26,683 and 25,894 nothing to worry about below it our medium term term trend would be negative if, and our major support zone is at 24,729 so these are uh, pivot levels for mid cap 100 index uh, you can note down these levels or take a screenshot so as long as it is above this level 
and this level also there's nothing to worry about you can come down to this level and again move back up after some consolidation and that would be really healthy for the overall market also and for us also uh, at this point a stock specific approach would be better than looking at the index and uh, these are important to the points as i told you about and if we take the moving average perspective as you can see it came down but took support around 20 and 50 moving average as you can see from uh, at this point and again it's moving up and it can take support again at 21 and 50 moving average and that is also around this level of 20,400 so uh, the next index we are going to take a look at is nifty small cap as you can see nifty small cap had a little bit correction a few weeks back it was almost a 10% correction and that was really good it went below both the 50 and 21 moving average but eventually it made a new high but not like the mid cap index it made a new high a smaller new high and again it fell back so a first pivot point is the previous high which is now acting as support as you can see it came down and reversed from this point so and there's one oh, very important point in nifty small cap index this level of 10620 uh, sorry this level of 9656 this level this level that are marked here this level is an important is an important level because when last time few weeks back it came down as you can see here few weeks back it came down it came down and took support around this level there was 21 moving average also present and it took support at that it took support at this level precisely and again moved up so what's next for us a uh, stock can do something like this it can consolidate a bit at this level uh, it can consolidate at this level of 10,675 if it comes down the first it can take support at 21 moving average and after that 50 moving average and if it goes down like this it can again take a support because it's a very strong support it was previous bull runs high and now it's acting as support and it can consolidate and move back if in any case it breaks this level of 96056 then there is something to worry about because below it there aren't many below it the this 200 moving averages are next support zone and this whole zone of 8600 to 8800 to 900 is our next support zone if in case it broke this level of 96050 uh, and i don't think it will get broken it can just come down like it can just come down like this and consolidate or it can consolidate at this level also so don't give too much attention to those people who are saying crash is coming crash is coming crash is something else crash is something like this crash is something like this a 10 crash is something like this a 10 to 20 percent correction is very healthy for a bull run and it's normal in a bull run we have risen almost vertically <coughs> just like in the case of uh, mid caps and small caps also we have risen almost vertically now a little bit consolidation and a little bit correction is not really bad it's really healthy for the overall market and i would still prefer the stock specific approach so keep your eye on the bank nifty index because there's the best risk reward ratio and uh, remove your junk stocks from your portfolio so this was it for today and we're gonna review the index every week on sunday and see what is going to happen next and what has happened the previous week and I, so if you like the video please consider hitting the, the like button and don't forget to subscribe and share if you like my videos please share and subscribe as much as you can and thank you for watching it stay safe take care